Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nigulescu, you know me for a lot of automation with UAPAT. I did a video last time with um, uh, Slack integrated with uh, UAPAT. So basically from Slack, you go to Slack and um, you ask some questions. So we have a, a Slack bot here, uh, NPN uh, start. So basically uh, you ask uh, Slack questions about UAPAT and Slack system will, uh, will answer to uh, your um, uh, uh your questions with uh, youtube so basically it's going to the uh, slack it's sending a message to an um, orchestrator so on the orchestrator we have a process and the process will analyze the data and i have around 900 um, answers to on the seconds for uh, for this and uh, he will provide you on uh, youtube um, <coughs> A YouTube link exactly with uh, a part where, for example, someone is making the login on on, on SAP. Yeah? <clears throat> this is inside of the. Uh, so you see the uh, the system, the process inside of a mother folder. It was running on unattended uh, robot, and uh, the system provided me this um, video with exactly seconds where Marcelo present the uh, SAP login. Okay, so what I add to this one, so from the, from the last time I have some updates and I want to uh, show you the updates. So basically in the code here, I just put this line. I will share the code on not uh, plus plus plus. So if I find um, uh, a space bar space, uh, basically this will, will, will uh, convert it to new line. So what's the idea? So basically uh, sometimes you don't know exactly what is there and you want to ask uh, to see a menu to, to understand what, um, uh, what the robot can provide. So. Um, you can go there and um, on the on the system he will provide you the list with all the all the things that you can access. So these are the categories that you are, can access. So for example, if you want to access something from the mail, you say uh, mail, uh, you say menu nine, menu nine, space nine, and he will provide you all the um, links from the mail, and uh, you will have all the all the stuff description, and you have also the um, website. So how to attach and. Oh, you have this one or Outlook, create a dynamic regex and so on. So basically you have everything. So you have also this one with the, with start with the menu, exactly like you have on the on the UiPath robot that it was like this. So you have all these facilities on Slack. And think about that. Um, uh, I showed this for um, this UiPath database, but you can, sorry, <clears throat> you can use this for um, creating your own um, video platform, yeah? So basically, inside of your company, you will have selected videos, and um, using the Slack, or you will see in the future that will have also MS Teams, uh, the the person can uh, can access this uh, this resource, the resources that are filtered by uh, um, people that know exactly uh, what is there. So basically, you don't lose the time on YouTube searching in the hundreds of videos that do the same stuff, but uh, lose your time. Okay, so uh, you understand the idea. Let's talk now about um, uh, the um, so all the details with configurations, like it's on, on the previous video. Let's talk now about uh, what is inside of the code, yeah, what is inside of the uh, workflow, yeah. And inside of the workflow, we will um, um, I will uh, publish the workflow on the uh, uh, GitHub. So on GitHub, I will have all the workflow, and um, uh, I will uh, I will also. Um, Data service. So uh, um, um, I will uh, publish the workflow on the uh, uh, on the GitHub, and uh, I will provide you all the uh, all the um, uh, details on how what is built inside of of this workflow. Yeah. So let's understand uh, what's the idea on the data service. So basically, I have here on the. Um, uh, let me check something. One moment. So let's talk about what you have on the data service. On the data service. <clears throat> Basically, I fill here a database with um, uh, with uh, all my details. So my database is called YouTube, and here I add some tags. I had tag, tag one and tag two, which are um, uh, tags for categories. Yeah. So if I have category mail, I will have the tag will be Gmail and Outlook. Yeah. Uh, if I have a category data table, I will have data table in one word, and also data table split in two words for the system to be able to find the fast the category. Yeah. So I will use this for search. You have a full video here on how to fill this um, extract data from YouTube and put it on uh, on the, uh, this uh, data service or on the Excel. And uh, let's uh, go here and um, explain what is inside of the code. So inside of the code, basically, I will do a query on the data service. I will extract all the stuff from the data service. Then I have to um, to search for the the tags. Yeah. But 
Uh, first, I have here a big if, and uh, this decision is um, uh, if I have a menu or not. If I have a menu, so if I have a menu, I have to display all the categories. To be able to display all the categories, I will go and uh, do a for each on the um, on the on on the list that I extract from the data service, and I will extract the unique category. After I extract the unique category, I will sort this list with the categories to have a list with um, all the uh, categories, and then. I will sure I will uh, I will um, I will put another condition. So this is if, if I have only menu. If I have menu plus a, 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 a number, if I have menu plus a number, I have to go inside of that category and I have to provide you a list with um, uh, uh, with all the answers that I have there and all the videos that I have there. So there I will search, I will search for the um, for the exact category that you provide. Inside of the Slack, you give me a number. I convert this number to a name, and um, uh, I get uh, I get this stuff. And then I will populate the list here. I will populate the uh, the list that will send back to the uh, Slack with output uh, str. And here I will populate it with. Uh, um, I have here a formula where I'm able to create the category and uh, I add the question. So this is the number because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The the question I format the YouTube link and so on. So everything that um, that you saw here as an answer was formatted there. So uh, inside of the category, I can provide you all the answers. Okay, good. So this is the the output, and I will I will uh, uh, I will send this output to uh, to Slack. So uh, in the end, he will uh, he will send the, uh, the output to Slack, and this will be done. Now, if I have here, if I don't have menu, so this was the, the case where I have menu. If I have menu, I will do all this stuff and display the menus, the menus of the categories or the menus of one specific categories. If I don't have, if it's not starting with menu, that means you have a search. When you have a search, I will do this. I will go and extract the tag. So I have the tag one and tag two for the categories. And I will do here decisions. Um, what are the unique tags? Yeah, so I'll make uh, some decision and make a list with a unique tag. After I extract all the tags, so I have all the tags. The next step is to invoke a code. So basically, I do in this code, I will check if one of my tags is inside inside of the, the text that you write. If one of my tags is inside of the text that you write, then I will decide that I have to work on that category. If I don't find this, I will search. Um, I will do the the search algorithm on all the. Uh, um, on all the data table, yeah? Good. Uh, then uh, I will search on a tag, yeah? I will uh, search, uh, if I find a tag, I will search on a tag and um, extract that category. And on that category, I will do here the main search. So this is the main uh, the main search. And uh, on the main search, you arrive on all the points. Uh, I will share with you all the all this code on uh, that is in C Sharp. So if it's if I find the uh, the category uh, uh, if I find the tag of the category I will search only on that part of the category if I don't find the I will search in everything yeah I will search in all the nine hundred answers and here I have some uh, remove some data with at or land I I I curate the uh, the text to be easy to to search on on this text like I said it's not perfect but. Uh, it's hard to make a, a, a perfect search. That's why I provide also this uh, version with uh, with menus. So uh, that's the idea. All the configuration, like I said, you have it on on the, on this video. I will share the uh, I will share also the code from the the XAML, uh, on the GitHub. So you have it uh, the configuration for the, uh, um, the the configuration and the code for Slack. You have it here. Um, uh, I will put also the XAML here for the for this stuff, and remember to have a new iPad orchestrator where you are able to put um, uh, a robot and you put also um, data service. As usual, if you like my movies, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, ask me what else you want to see inside of my YouTube channel. Yeah, so come here on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and comment to my movies and tell me what else you want to see on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye.